Hi guys, and welcome to the second of my creative Christmas videos. Today, we're gonna to cover the first of our basic skills, which is your lens choice and which focal length to use. Your focal length, it's usually stated on the side of your camera lens. So if you've got a bungle camera lens, it'll probably be something like an 18 to 55. If you spent a little bit more money, it'll be something like a 24 to 105. Uh, the numbers, they refer to the distance between the lens and the image sensor when your subject is in focus. The shorter your focal length, the wider your angle of view will be. So an 18mm lens will give you a wide image. Um, a wider image than the same image zoomed in at 55mm. Uh, as a basic rule of thumb, most landscapes are shot on a wide angle lens. So anything down to, you can go weird like down to 8mm, which will give you a fish eye, but usually about 18mm. Uh, when you're moving to taking portraits of people or pictures of your dogs, of your cats, etc, etc, you're going to be more around 50mm as this is, this sort of replicates the human eye. If you're looking at shooting sports, wildlife photography, um, bird photography, stuff like that, then you're going to go into what's called a telephoto lens. These are usually 200mm um, or even more if you've got the money. Um, now again, this can get complicated depending on which sensor your camera has. Uh, it's often referred to as full frame or crop sensor. In the most basic sense, um, a crop sensor is usually cropped by 1.5 to 1.6, the size of a full frame sensor. So an 18 mm lens on a full frame sensor becomes a 27 or a 28 mm lens on a crop sensor. If you're just starting out though, don't get too hung up on feeling you need a full frame camera because that's what all the pros have. Uh, there are plenty of great lenses um, that are made for crop cameras. That's it for today's Creative Christmas. Check back in tomorrow to learn a little bit about shutter speed and how it affects your images. And remember, if you want these videos delivered directly to your inbox, you can either subscribe on our YouTube channel or if you go onto the blog, um, there's a little box you can sign up there and we'll handle the rest for you. Cheers.